All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm here to show you how you can customize your menu bar inside of Firefox so it has the type of buttons that you want in the arrangement that you want them. So in order to do this, all you have to do is go to the menu button here in the upper right-hand corner, the three little slashes, click on that, and then go down to the bottom of this little pull down to more tools. And then under here, you'll find the option to customize your toolbar here at the top. You do have some other tools in here if you're looking for them. You got things like developer tools, the task manager for Firefox so you can shut down different windows or different tabs if you think they're lagging you out. Page source, eyedropper to like get a cool color but you, that you wanna save for later, that sort of thing. Uh, and responsive design mode, those are all in here. But what we're looking for is the customized toolbar option. And this will enable us to then drag and drop any of these buttons that you see here so that you can use Firefox the way that is the most comfortable for you. Now, for a lot of people, something that used to be in every toolbar was the home button. It used to sit right here next to the refresh button. So that might be something that you want to have brought back. You can also put the bookmarks menu over here if it's easier for you to click on that to manage your bookmarks to save and delete ones that you don't use anymore. And for people who like to browse the web with privacy, you can put the incognito button or the new private window button over here. So it's easy for you to start a new private window so that you can browse in privacy and comfort. Other tools that you might find helpful are things like the screenshot button, so you can quickly screenshot stuff that you see on the web because there's a lot of cool stuff out there and not all of it makes it really easy to save a picture for later. You can also put a button for developer mode tools if you use those a lot or, and this one actually might be useful for myself, the print button for when you want to print things like emails or receipts when you make an online purchase. And then when you're done, you can at the bottom down here, you have a couple of options you can restore defaults and put this all back the way that it was, or you can click done and then boom, it'll save the location of all of the stuff that you just added to your toolbar so that you can use it for later. Or if you decide that you don't want it or you prefer the way that it used to be, you can always go right back to more tools, open up the customized toolbars button and click restore defaults if that's what you want. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been a brief look at how to customize your toolbar inside of Firefox. I hope you found this helpful. I'll catch you later. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.